What is up you guys, it's your local dad that doesn't have kids. Now, I may have went out for 10 years to find a rare pack of cigarettes that I may never find in my life, but at least I can say I never gave my child the wrong Lamborghini for their 16th birthday. At least I can say that. You guys, just think of the trauma that this dad is putting this girl through by getting her the wrong, not even just the wrong Lamborghini, he also got it in the wrong color. He got this fucking Lamborghini Countach, a classic car that anyone that collects Lamborghinis would die for. He got it in the ultimate spec that would absolutely boost up in value in a couple of years. A red exterior with a tan interior. Oh my, how could he? Uh, I'm like, parents like this really fucking irks me. Your child wants a specific Lamborghini and you can't even do that for them. What is wrong with you? Man, let's just get into this video. You guys won't even believe me whenever I say this guy got her the completely wrong Lamborghini, bro. Like, I, I gotta show you guys this shit. Ooh. Alright, there we go. Only got 10 minutes for the video, so I gotta make it kind of quick. Jasmine's 16th birthday, got her little Lambo. She wanted an Aventador, but, um... I figured you'd get something older, like a Countach to start with. See, the thing is, you guys, you guys may be thinking to yourself, well, it kind of makes sense. No one really gets a brand new car for their 16th birthday. Like, most of us that get our first cars are probably from the early 2000s to the late 90s or probably early 80s. Because the price is probably just so damn cheap on these cars and our parents already know we're probably gonna fucking wreck them. But the thing is, you guys, if you guys look up the price of a Countach and the Lamborghini that she actually wanted, they cost almost the exact same amount of money, plus or minus a couple thousand dollars. But I mean, like, you're spending over $300,000 on a car, a couple thousand dollars isn't really gonna sway you either way. This guy literally could have picked her up her dream car in a dream spec for literally less money than this Countach. Oh, there she's eating something. Hey, Jazzy. Do you have a second? Bro, one thing. Why is it taking her so long to respond to her dad? Hey, Jazzy. 3,000 years later. Second thing, bitch, you better have a goddamn second. There's a Lamborghini outside. Wow. Come on, soon. Do you have a second? My parents would never ask me that. The day that my parents ask me if I have a second is the same day that hell's gonna freeze over. It's never gonna fucking happen. My parents gonna, hey, yo, got something outside. Go look at it. My woo boy. <laughs> Lamborghini. Okay, well, you know how you're, um, you didn't get much for your birthday, um, it's cause, like, the sh we bought you something, but the, it was, like, the shipping company was late. Man, this man's stuttering like hell. Hell, I'd be nervous to give my daughter a Lamborghini. <laughs> like, right now, he's say just like, I already know she gonna wreck this. And it's a classic. What the hell is wrong with me? Why am I giving her this Lamborghini? And then he's just, uh, 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 uh. Like every time he does a, uh, he's just thinking to himself, I shouldn't do this. I should not give my daughter a Lamborghini. <laughs> so, it's, it's this, like. Bro, you can even tell that she don't even know what keys are supposed to go to a Lamborghini Aventador. I mean, like, bro, look at the key fob. It looks like it goes to a Honda Civic or something. <laughs> if you guys don't know what a Lamborghini Aventador key fob looks like, this is what it looks like. It looks nothing like that. Like, um, might kind of give it away. Come this way. Does mom know about this? Yeah, mom knows about it. I like how he's like dangling Lamborghini keys in your face and all you can say is there's no way that the mom is gonna not know that he bought a $300,000 car. I'm pretty sure he consulted her about buying their daughter, not him buying it for himself, their daughter. That is most likely gonna crash this thing. I don't give a fuck how much money I have in the world. I'm not getting my child a sports car as their first car. Cause me knowing my genetics, we like the speed in my family. And I don't want my kid touching 200 on the fucking highway. Okay, open the door. Oh, that's cold. Test in, little buddy. Okay. 
day. Turn around. Bruh. Bruh. I know you ain't looking around like you don't see that bright red ass Lamborghini over there. She like, so where's the, where's the, where's the Aventador at? Oh, excuse me now. I don't, I don't see you. Like, bitch! Do you not see that red Lamborghini over there? <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep comparing myself, but I'm pretty sure if any of us did that with our parents that discipline us to raise us into the fine young people or old people, doesn't matter, that we are, our parents would most likely take the car <laughs> and just be like, oh, you don't like this. You know what? You don't get a car at all. Not a Honda Civic, not a fucking Volvo, not a fucking Lincoln. You don't get shit. What? What is that? Well, it's, it's your car. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, no. It, you wanted a Lamborghini, so. Uh, Aventador? What is that? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a Countach. What is that? It's a Countach. Their Countaches are good, too. How old is it? Oh. It's not even new, is it? What? Bro, no. No. This dad needs to punch her in the face. No. 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 The belt would be off if that was my child. It's like, are you saying that me spending 300k on that motherfucker over there isn't enough for you? I would be beating her ass. And she's talking about some, yeah, Aventador. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know the difference between an SVJ. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know the difference between an Aventador, SVJ, S, and then a the regular one. I'm pretty sure she thinks they're all the exact same thing. Well kind of hard i'm like at this point even if i was the dad and i was just like you know what i did mess up i got the wrong lamborghini i'll be deducting some money off how much this car is gonna be worth with that attitude if i was half as dumb as this dad oh my god and i wanted it white well with a little bit of research here's a white one that's in california we can trade in this red one for that one couldn't even get one thing well, right I wanted it no, white. Come, come look I at it. I wanted it, come it look at, white. Come look at it. 2016 Aventador. But no. You had to get me a freaking dinosaur from the 1920s. It's a good car. A lot of, a lot of people really like these cars. They're really okay. good. They're really I, fast. I don't know why. It has a V12. Come look. Come look. And? Come here. Come here. What does that even mean, V12? You don't even know what kind of engine's even in the car. Oh my, why? It's not even that. You don't even know what kind of engine is in, is in the car. You know what? We can get past that. You don't even know what the difference between a V8, a V12, or any other engine is. Well, it's like engine size. Okay, fine. Yeah, come look. You're taking this back, because... We'll just try. My friends figured, are gonna no. make fun of me. This is trash. I don't think anyone could make fun of anyone in a Countach. This is one of the flagship cars that Lamborghini used to make. This right here is a classic. And she's talking about some. My friends will make fun of me. Your friends don't know cars. They won't make fun of you. Yes, they will. No, that's really cool. Look at it. Look, I, I know they have like a like. Like nice Ferraris, and but this is a you nice Lambo. You could have got me a Ferrari instead of this, whatever this is. You probably would complain about that too. You'd be like, Dad, you got it in cream white. I wanted it in eggshell white. Dang. What? Bruh, I would have slapped her ass so fast for saying what to me like that. I'm like, what? What? I'm going to show you what. Well. I mean, okay, look, what I was figuring is you could learn to drive on this, and then when you're you're comfortable with it, like, we'll get you an Aventador. Bro, at this point, I don't know if this man is stupid, or if this is just like a prank or some shit. Because why would you get your child one of the most hardest cars to handle and drive just to get them one that's easier to drive? That makes zero sense. It's like me saying, yes, little Johnny, I know you want the new Porsche GT3 RS, but you know, here's a Porsche Carrera GT, one of the most dangerous sports cars out there. And if you guys don't know how dangerous this Porsche Carrera GT is, the actor Paul Walker crashed his car because he lost traction with it. And you know the rest of the story of how he died in the car. Not Here, go get in. Go get in. Open the door. You can sit in it. Here, take, take your keys. Uh, 
I don't even want to get in it. Oh, open the door. Open the door. No, There's I don't. A, just. I told you I wanted black interior, and you couldn't even get that right. Well, it's tan. The, the bl I, I know, but the the red and tan is like a really really popular. I didn't want red, and I didn't want tan, and I didn't want this. Well, okay, red red and tan is a really popular color combo yeah, from sure, sure it is. from this from period. What? Old men, old men who think cars are cool. I like how she's being hypocritical right here. She's like, oh, what, old men who think cars are cool? When it's just like, you think the Aventador is cool, and that's why you want it. You don't even know what's in the Aventador. You don't know what kind of creature comforts it has. You don't know what kind of engine it has, what exhaust. You don't know nothing about it. All you know is it looks cool, and that your friends think you're going to be cool in it, and that you know that your friends are going to make fun of you in this car because it doesn't look cool. So... Essentially, she's calling herself an old man because she thinks that the Aventador is cool. I don't think that she realized what she just said right there. Like, it didn't process in her mind that, oh, wait, this can be applied to me. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, uh, do, you'll, get, you'll get a lot of attention. You won't get made fun of. Yeah, I will. No. You're ruining my life. No. And there it is, the you're ruining my life line. Ugh. At first, I thought we would never get this one. The classic spoiled rich kid that didn't get what they want line. You're ruining my life. Because getting the wrong Lamborghini is ruining your life. No, I'm not. No, How do you open. even open it? There's a, little, there's a little thingy down there. Just push it. How and it'll, you... Just push. There's a little, like, button thing that you push and it'll open up. I thought you'd like this. It's really hard to find. Just lift it up. There you go. Yeah. I'm not getting in it. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> Just get in. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> if you're gonna be a spoiled brat, stick to your guns. You can't just let your dad walk all over you like this. You're doing exactly what he wants you to do. He wants you to get in the car and get a feel for it and actually like it. How dare he try to make you like this car that he spent his hard-earned money on. You'll like it. It's fun. They're fun to drive. I drove a little bit. Oh, so not... I specifically asked for less than 20 miles. How far did you drive it, Dad? I don't think she knows how cars work. It would be incredibly rare. Brand new. 2016 Aventador with less than 20 miles on it? You guys don't know. Almost all new cars have at least 20 to 40 miles on it. She'll be lucky if she get 20 miles on Most of almost all cars, no matter how expensive it is, will at least have 40 miles on it. At least. Getting less than 20 is like a godsend. How far did you drive it, Dad? How far did I drive it? Yeah. I don't know, about 100 miles? Okay, maybe 200. No? No. Why do you let her talk to you like this? You're buying her an expensive present. I don't give a fuck how rich you are. You just let your child just walk all over you for no reason at all. Because easily you can say, you know what? You don't get anything and she can't do shit about it. But for some reason, just let them walk all over you for no reason. Wow. I thought you'd like this. No. But you said Lambo. No. This is Lambo. It's an Aventador. Yeah, but this is pretty good. Whatever this is. This kudosh. This is like an icon. From when? The, the 80s. Do I look like I'm from the 80s? Kind of? I mean, you kind of got the 80s eyebrows going on there. Oh! Bruh, dad got her back. Y'all here roasting it. Saying your eyebrows out here looking wild. Damn, dad. You can't be this cold, man. I get it. I mean, like, yeah, you should beat her ass. But you can't be this cold. You can't be out here making fun of her appearance. Oh, man. This man right here. Oh, my gosh, dad. No? You give me the wrong part, and then you insult my eyebrows? <laughs> you think this is... Just try it. No. 
Can I have it then? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. I think this guy wanted the Countach all alone, but he could probably never convince his wife like why he should get that card because it's a fucking death trap. But then I'm pretty sure his wife didn't know anything about cars. So he's just like, oh, honey, look, you know, it's an older car. She could beat it up a little. You know, it doesn't really matter when naturally it does fucking matter. But he's like, oh, see, she'll probably like this. And wife not knowing anything. She's like, sure, what the fuck ever. You know, lots of kids get older cars. Mom's completely oblivious to what to what the dad actually got. So the dad finds able to get his dream car by disguising it <laughs> as a birthday present for his daughter. Which, don't get me wrong, the daughter's still a piece of garbage, but now I see what the dad's trying to do and why he's probably not mad at her. He's probably just like, thank god you don't like this car? Ooh, got it all to myself. Can I have it then? No. How the hell you gonna tell him he can't have his own car that he bought with his own money? Y'all rich people be like, y'all kids talk to y'all any kind of way. This is wild. I don't get how anyone would allow their kids to talk to them this way. It doesn't matter if you're the nicest person in the world and you're a pacifist. At that point, that's a breaking limit. You telling me I can't have my own thing that I pay for? I'm gonna count to 10, little Timmy. And you better be somewhere else because whenever i open up my eyes and if you're in front of me we fighting what are we supposed to do with it burn it this is trash burn it i can't burn this burn it start it like start red, it red tan and orange because it's all the fire all right i'm not starting it okay well Look, they're looking at me now. <laughs> the neighbors are looking at you. They're probably looking at you because you just said, burn this classic Lamborghini because it's not what you wanted. And I'll be looking at you too. I'm like, nigga, you really ain't going to be her ass right now? It's like, bro, I'm about to come over there and be her ass for you. Yep. All right. Well, just about out of video time. Um. Okay, I'll look for an event door then. Yeah, and I want it by the end of Christmas break. Because I am not going to school in this. Okay, I saw I saw a nice pink one on the DuPont registry. Pink? No, I told you I wanted it white. White? White. Alright. Pink. Bro, why why are you even trying to rationalize with this girl? Even if your dumbass was just like, you know what, I messed up. I'll get you the invincible door. Why would you even tell her, oh, that's all a pink one? Just go wrap it white. She will never tell the difference between a wrap and the fucking paint job. But this is the end of the video, you guys. And I want to know, please, I really want to know. If this was your daughter, what would you do about this? This situation where you get her a Lamborghini that potentially is worth more than the one that she wanted and is a classic icon. Practically a flagship for the brand. And she complains like this. What would you do? But other than that, please like, share, comment below. And also, I'm trying to hit 2K before the end of the summer, you guys. And I really need you guys' help. So sharing really helps me out. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell notification. I always love seeing new people and also the same people returning, especially in the comments. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.